So much for sanding. I look a bit like Pablo Escobar. I mean, snorting a bit of coke. Oh well, sanding's nearly done. sun's come out specially right then so I'm just fitted the harness um, the throttle goes there through that pulley um, the harness here I've just put this uh, flathead screw bolt if you like just so it doesn't catch a pan head would have probably been better but I don't have one I did it wasn't long enough um, some focus on there there's uh, washers either side uh, and that's a, a, a nylock lock nut just on there this bar comes across then and it's, uh, it's just welded on so it's kind of springy um, and fastened on but that holds the top of the harness I'm just gonna figure out now how we do these um, I've got a picture somewhere which shows how it goes, I think it does that or comes up the back and does that, I believe. I'll have a little look at the pictures. Uh, let's give that a clean up. Um, I forget what they call these, this buckle, uh, shackle. That's, that must be Spanish safety wire. Looks like a, looks like a cable wrap to me. Tie wrap. Anyway, I'll give that a clean. Solve all auto solve. That's your friend. Let me get some. Ah, love this stuff. Just, uh, me and me and my mate Nigel, Nobby Naylor, he used to clean our bikes with this when we were kids. Well, teenagers. I used to do the crankcase cover and everything. Well, when I say we, I did occasionally. Nigel did a lot. It was dedicated like that. There we go. Just give that a bit of a clean. That's not... Right, so we're on here. Uh, we're also fastened on there. So there's attachments there and down there just holding the seat same on that side i've ordered two astral pins is that what you call them those inox 27 kilonewtons or whatever they are two new ones of those ordered um they reckon they should change those every year even though i think um they're guaranteed for five years or something guaranteed i mean nobody's gonna cash them in are they if they break um the, uh, there's your there's your safety wire again. Uh, I do apologise to my Spanish friends taking the mickey. And <laughs> I know it's just the guy that owned this paramotor. Um, who was a Spanish guy. It's not Spanish people in general. There's a lot of good engineering comes out of Spain. Um, and tapas and beer. 
but um, <laughs> whoever owned this, I don't know, the concept of safety was horrendous. Um, so when I'm happy with the hanging, we'll be doing some hanging at some stage, uh, I'll, I'll use safety wire. We'll, we'll wrap that so, uh, so it can't come undone. Same with that. I've also, my friends put this bar in. Um, that's a crossbar that I'd taken out to set the hoops apart. Uh, brand new nylon nuts I've put on the bottom. Both sides again. They're only cheap and they're safer. So that's that. There is some safety wire here, look. So I'm taking the mickey out of them, but that's been done properly. Uh, I might replace it though, only because um, it's been there a while and I've got some new stuff. So why not? Why not just replace that? Um, all right, I'm gonna have a look at the prop next. This leading edge. That looks like it's been cut in the grass. Uh, oh. Look at that. Look at that. We didn't look. Did we drink too much beer when we were in Spain? We were just like, yeah, let's just fly. So we've got a bit of a prop repair to do then. It looks like it's had a repair before. Uh, it's been filled. Can you see there when we get it in focus? Uh, I, I did think about getting a new prop. Trouble is props aren't cheap, and w which you don't mind. Good props, vital. But I'm still not sure whether this engine's gonna be any good. And I didn't wanna go out and spend, you know, a couple hundred pounds on a new propeller and find out that the, the engine's knackered, so I've just wasted wasted more money. So I just want to make this safe um, so it doesn't fly apart, try and repair it. And then if everything works all right and I'm happy, uh, we'll buy it, we'll buy a new prop. So you can see I've drilled a couple of holes in here and that's because there's a couple of cracks um, that are extending from the tip. They, they're kind of going through the grain you probably see here there's these marks and they're cracking along there so i put a couple of holes just to to terminate the cracks so that they don't these stress lines don't spread further uh, i'm just going to dremel out a little bit the cracks uh, and then we'll put some filler in uh, and the same here so we're going to use you know epoxy resin um, uh, and the same here i'm just going to epoxy those up so next is a bit of dremel in and then we'll have a look at the other side Right, so what I've done then is, um, well, I've not gone all the way through, obviously, with the crack, but I've terminated the cracks of those holes, taken the crack back to the leading edge and done a bit of a furrow there for uh, for the resin to drain into. Hopefully, uh, we'll get it in the crack as well. We'll just open it up and uh, have it will go there. Done the same this side. You can probably see there's two holes there. They terminate cracks that are more obvious on the other side, uh, but I've just taped them up. They're behind those lines, can you see? I've just put a bit of tape on um, because I'm gonna put the resin through these holes. I don't want it just, you know, running, running all over the desk. So we'll mix some, uh, some epoxy resin up. So about 50 mils just under there of uh, resin to about one mil of catalyst. Uh, that's a 2% mix, I'll put it in there. We'll give this a, a stir round. Um, let me stir, we'll use this. I've lost my wooden spatula. I'll just use this, all right. And I'm just gonna try and pour it into these holes, but I, I can't video it at the same time. Um, probably gonna make a mess. So I'll just shut down the video and show you one we made earlier. Okay, so I've kind of done that look. And then I'm just gonna uh, spread this apart a bit so that it works into that crack. And uh, we'll let that set. We'll do the same with the other side, but I've made a big mess on that one. It, it's because that's 
uh, flat on the table, but of course, because of the camber, that's not, and then it, it ran down there, but um, made a bit of a mess, but we'll just leave it, it'll, it'll sand off. Um, I've just kind of got to do this end bit, that divot, that's probably gonna be the hardest bit. Okay, so we're gonna do a bit of sanding down. Uh, that's that side, oh, a bit there, look. Gonna take a bit of sanding, let's see how we go. There's the throttle with all that tape on it, and I think the tape's probably just to put that on. And then you've got that with that. I mean, it, it works, but it's the strangest thing. Ah, uh, there's a there's a grub screw or something in there, if that's what you mean. And then the cable comes along here, comes through, and I'll just whiz round. And then there's something else there, isn't there? I don't know what that is. So that's on the back of a spring, some kind of a thread that doesn't actually look like it goes in anything, but it goes onto that bracket there. Um, strangest thing. And they've arrived. Those are those um, Austrian pins, are they? Or I don't know how you pronounce it, but. Um, uh, we've got those carabiners, I think 27 kilonewtons, brand new, great for a fat boy. Um, free mug though, thank you Clive, Clive Mason, CM Paramotors, uh, sent me the mug for free and a keyring, good on you mate. Uh, I bought those and this is a second hand throttle. Um, oops, don't bend that. I've just got to connect the um, the grub screw on there, which it just come with it, it's taped behind there. Um, that's a brand new second hand. Now it's second hand throttle. He very kindly took it off an engine that he's got um, and gave it to me, much better condition. It's It's got a proper cruise control knob on it uh, and the strap and the switch and, and looked really nice condition. I was quite pleased that it was gonna be a bit rougher. So, anyway, um, good stuff. Well, that's about it for now. I've almost finished the sanding. Well, in actual fact, I have finished the sanding, but there's a couple of divots left yet to fill in. So I'll, I'll do those for the next video, let you know how the prop turns out. Um, and we'll put the throttle on in the next video too. In the meanwhile, thanks for watching. Don't forget, give us a big thumbs up, uh, hit that subscribe button, clank the bell icon, and until the next video, bye for now.